Peppa Pig, Daddy Pig Gets Fit. <laughs> Daddy Pig was sitting in his chair. You've had too much to eat and drink, Daddy. You need to start to get fit, said Peppa. I am very fit, said Daddy Pig. I could do seven or eight press-ups if I wanted to right now. Wow! But when Daddy Pig got up, he hurt his back. Ouch! Ouch! Well, perhaps I could do six press-ups, he said. You could go and ride a bike, then you would start to get fit, said Peppa. No, it's too hot out there. I can get myself fit right here, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> I will do seven or eight press-ups. If I am on my own, I can start, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> will you do lots of them if you are on your own? asked Peppa. Yes. In fact, I will do nine or ten press-ups. I will count out loud so you can hear, said Daddy Pig. Peppa left Daddy Pig on his own, and he started to count. Six, seven, said Daddy Pig. Eight, nine, ten. All done, said Daddy Pig. Daddy, said Peppa. You were not counting press-ups. You were counting the cars on the television. I was going to do seven or eight press-ups by myself, but then my arms hurt, said Daddy Pig. If you will not get fit on your own, you must come and start getting fit with me, said Peppa. Daddy Pig got on a bike. It was Peppa's bike. If you want to get fit, you need to go for a long ride on your own, said Peppa. I will not be fun by myself, said Daddy Pig. <sighs> Off you go on your own. I will count to ten. Do not come back until I count to ten, said Peppa. <whistles> Daddy Pig went up the hill. It was hard work. I am hot and I need a drink. My legs hurt. This is not fun on my own, said Daddy Pig. At home, Peppa was counting. Seven, eight. Daddy Pig had got to the top of the hill. He went down again very fast. I hope I will not hurt myself if I crash, said Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig did crash. He crashed into a pond. This is not the drink I wanted, but at least I am not too hot, he said. And at least I am not on my own. My legs hurt. I will start to push the bike back up the hill, said Daddy Pig. It was hard work. Daddy Pig was hot and he wanted a drink. Daddy Pig was not on his own. All of the ducks came with him. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten ducks, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> nine, ten, said Peppa. I am back from my long ride, said Daddy Pig. That was a good start, Daddy. Do you feel fitter now? asked Peppa. No, oh, said Daddy Pig. I am hot. I need a drink and my legs hurt. But I think I might have a better way to keep myself fit. <laughs> this is better. It's not so hot, said Daddy Pig. I will keep myself fit if I do this seven days a week. <laughs> the End Peppa Pig, the Pumpkin Contest <laughs> Today is Halloween at Peppa's school. Wow! We are going to have a pumpkin contest, says Madame Gazelle. Hooray! 
Do you all have your pumpkins? <gasps> Susie has her pumpkin. <laughs> Pedro has his pumpkin. Wow. Emily, Freddy and Danny have their pumpkins too. <laughs> Peppa does not have her pumpkin. Oh no! It's still growing at my grandpa's house, she says. Just remember to bring it for the contest tonight, says Madame Gazelle. All the children go home. They will come back tonight for the contest. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig drive Peppa to her pumpkin. Is my pumpkin big? Peppa asks. Oh, yes, says Grandpa Pig. Peppa's pumpkin is very big. Wow! cries Peppa. It is the biggest pumpkin in the whole world. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig help Peppa decorate her pumpkin. Spooky, says Peppa. <laughs> now it is time to go to the contest. Oh no! Peppa's pumpkin is too big to fit in the car. I will miss the contest, <sighs> Peppa says sadly. No, you won't, says Grandpa Pig. We just need some help. He calls Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit uses her helicopter to lift the pumpkin. All aboard, she says. Next stop, the pumpkin contest. Back at the school, the pumpkin contest is about to begin. The children can't wait. <laughs> is everyone here? asks Madame Gazelle. Peppa is not here, <coughs> says Danny Dog. Oh dear says Madame Gazelle. We will have to start the prizes without her. Oh. The prize for the best pumpkin from the market goes to Pedro Pony. <laughs> then the children hear a sound outside. What is that in the sky? It's a flying pumpkin. <laughs> it's Peppa's pumpkin. Wow! cry the children. <laughs> Am I in time for the contest? Peppa asks. Oh yes, says Madame Gazelle. The prize for the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa. Hooray! Hooray! shout the children. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Peppa visits the Great Barrier Reef. <coughs> Peppa is on holiday in Australia, visiting her friend Kylie Kangaroo. Wow! I love it at your house, Kylie, says Peppa. I could stay here forever, decides Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's great having you stay, says Mrs Kangaroo, but I have to go to work today. <coughs> Mrs. Kangaroo is a marine biologist. She studies creatures that live in the sea. Do creatures in the sea have bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? Wonders Peppa. No, snorts Daddy Pig. That's just the stuff that people put in fish tanks. Mrs. Kangaroo takes everyone down to the beach. She points to the sea. This, she says, is my office. How can you work in the sea? Asks Peppa. With this submarine, says Mrs Kangaroo. Hop in. <laughs> the submarine goes down deep under the water. Peppa gasps. It's all the colours of the rainbow. <laughs> that is coral, 
says Mrs. Kangaroo. It's made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. The coral is very pretty. Peppa would like to take some home. We must never ever take anything away from here, says Miss Kangaroo. The reef is home to lots of sea creatures, explains Kylie. Look! Giant turtle swims up to say hello. There's a little bridge, says Peppa. Just like in the fish tank. <laughs> Except there's no treasure chest, of course, chuckles Daddy Pig. <laughs> George spots something in the sand. Mrs. Kangaroo blinks. It's a chest full of gold coins. George has found a treasure chest. The submarine carefully picks it up. Wait, cries Peppa. We must never ever take anything away from the reef. Only natural things, says Miss Kangaroo. These gold coins don't belong here. Mr. Kangaroo loads the treasure chest onto the camper van. These gold coins will pay for lots more marine research, says Kylie. Mrs. Kangaroo smiles. That was a good day at the office. Yes, snorts Peppa. It was. The end. Peppa loves doctors and nurses. It was people who help us day at playgroup and everyone was excited. Now children, began Madame Gazelle, today we have two very special visitors. They are both people who help us. Is one the Queen? asked Peppa. Is one my auntie? asked Rebecca Rabbit. Dinosaur! Roar! asked George. Three wonderful guesses, said Madame Gazelle. But the people coming to see us today are Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Hooray! cheered the children, jumping up and down. They love Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. When I hurt my leg, I had to go to hospital, said Pedro Pony. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox looked after me. When I was feeling poorly, said Peppa, Dr. Brown Bear made me feel all better. Just then, there was a noise from outside. The children ran to look to the window to look. Madame Gazelle, it's Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Good morning, everyone, said Dr. Brown Bear. Today, Nurse Fox and I are going to talk to you about keeping fit and staying healthy. Let's start by going over to the playground and getting our bodies moving. Yippee! cheered the children. They loved moving around outside. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox had built an obstacle course. To keep fit and healthy, we must move our bodies every day, said Dr. Brown Bear. Madame Gazelle will show us all how it's done. The children watched in amazement as Madame Gazelle completed the obstacle course perfectly. Ta-da! she cried. Now it is your turn, children, said Dr. Brown Bear. Ready, steady, go! Peppa and her friends set off. They swung, crawled, hopped, slid, skipped and jumped around. This is so much fun, isn't it, Susie? cheered Peppa. But as she turned to Susie's sheep, Pe Peppa forgot to look where she was going and fell on her bottom. Oops! cried Peppa. Nurse Fox came straight over. Are you all right? she asked. I think so, said Peppa. Good, said Nurse Fox. 
checking that Peppa was not hurt. You can carry on now, Peppa, but please be careful. Thank you for helping me, said Peppa. Peppa loved the obstacle course. This is my favourite bit, she cried, jumping high and landing in a big muddy puddle. I'm not sure that's part of the course, Peppa, said Madame Gazelle, smiling. Snack time, called Nurse Fox. Hooray, cheered the children. Don't forget to wash your hands before you eat, said Nurse Fox. All the children went to wash their hands. Peppa and Rebecca sang the Wash Your Hands song. Wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. Eating healthy food helps us to stay fit and strong, said Dr. Brown Bear as he tried to open his snack box. Hmm, this seems to be stuck. Uh, Nurse Fox, could you help me please? Nurse Fox came over and opened the box easily. Nurse Fox, gasped Peppa, you must eat lots of healthy food to be that strong. Everyone laughed. Peppa and her friends loved snack time. Yummy, they cried. Keep in fit and strong was delicious. You've done such a good job today, children, said Dr. Brown Bear when they finished. I'm going to give you all a sticker. Hooray, cheered the children. They loved stickers too. Madam Gazelle brought out the dressing up box. It's time for you to be the doctors and nurses now, children, she said. Peppa and her friends had lots of fun dressing up. Dr. Brown Bear, said Peppa the doctor, you must keep fit and stay healthy too. Of course, he replied. The children took Dr. Brown Bear outside and told him to go around and around the obstacle course. One more time, cried Peppa the doctor. Okay, how, how's this? gasped. Dr. Brown Bear. When he was allowed to stop, he looked quite tired. Dr. Brown Bear doesn't look very well, said Peppa the doctor. I think he needs a plaster. And bandages, added Nurse Danny Dog. And more bandages, added Nurse Susie. Now he needs a sticker, said Peppa the doctor. All the little doctors and nurses covered Dr. Brown Bear in stickers. Thank you for being so helpful, said Dr. Brown Bear. He was covered in so many bandages he couldn't move. What a patient patient he was. What do we say to our visitors? asked Madame Gazelle. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Nurse Fox cheered the children, giving them a big clap. Clap, clap, clap. Eh, Peppa loves doctors and nurses. Everyone loves doctors and nurses. The end. Peppa Pig, Doctors to the Rescue. It is a sunny day. Peppa and her friends are playing outside. Pedro Pony shouts. Tiddles the tortoise is stuck in a tree. I can get him down, says Pedro. I'll give the tree a little shake. Pedro shakes the tree. Tiddles falls down and lands on Pedro's nose. Ow, says Pedro. That hurt. Madame Gazelle, Pedro is hurt, says Peppa. Do not worry, says Madame Gazelle. I will call Dr. Brown Bear. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear is a doctor who helps children when they are sick or hurt. Dr. Brown Bear answers his phone. I am on my way, he says. Dr. Brown Bear looks at Pedro's nose. You need a bandage, 
he says. The bandage makes Pedro's nose feel better. Thank you, says Pedro. But now my glasses do not work. Can you fix them? No, says Dr. Brownberg. You need an eye doctor for that. <laughs> Madame Gazelle calls Dr. Pony. Dr. Pony is Pedro's dad. He is also an eye doctor. He gives Pedro an eye test. Your glasses are just muddy, says Dr. Pony. He cleans Pedro's glasses. <coughs> Hooray! Pedro's glasses are fixed. Pedro is feeling better. His glasses work again too. But Tiddles is still not well. We will call the vet, says Madame Gazelle. A vet is a doctor who takes care of pets. <coughs> Dr. Hamster the vet arrives. Tiddles, you little pickle, she says. What have I told you about climbing in trees? Dr. Hamster flips Tiddles back onto his feet. Now he feels better. Just then, Dr. Elephant arrives. He is a dentist. A dentist is a doctor who looks after teeth. Are everyone's teeth okay? He asks. Yes, say the children. <laughs> then I will be on my way, says Dr. Elephant. But Dr. Elephant cannot leave. His car will not start. Who do we call when your car is sick? asks Peppa. I know who to call, says Madame Gazelle. <coughs> Madame Gazelle calls Grandad Dog. He knows how to fix cars. Good as new, he says. Hooray! Hooray! cheer the children. Grandad Dog is a Doctor for cars, says Peppa. <laughs> Even cars need doctors. All the doctors save the day. The end. Peppa Pig Doctors It is playtime. Peppa and Pedro Pony are playing in the garden when they hear a squeak from up in a tree. What's that noise? asked Pedro. He looks up and gasps. It's Tiddles the tortoise. <gasps> Don't worry, Tiddles. We can get you down. I'll just shake this tree and... <coughs> Whoosh! Tiddles falls from the tree and bumps Pedro's nose on the way down. <coughs> Ouch! shouts Pedro. <coughs> Madame Gazelle comes to help. Oh dear, what happened? she asks. Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose, <coughs> says Peppa. Madame Gazelle calls the doctor. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear hurries over. Where is the patient? he asks. <coughs> My nose hurts, says Pedro. <sighs> Dr. Brown Bear gives Pedro a green plaster for his nose. That will make it better says Dr. Brown Bear. My glasses fell in the mud, says Pedro. You'll need an optician to fix them, says Dr. Brown Bear. <coughs> the optician arrives. It is Dr. Pony. He is Pedro's daddy. <coughs> Can you please read this chart for me, Pedro, says Dr. Pony. I can't see. My glasses aren't working, says Pedro. <coughs> Dr. Pony spots the problem. These glasses just need a good clean, says Dr. Pony. <coughs> he carefully wipes away the mud and gives the clean glasses back to Pedro. I can see again, says Pedro. <coughs> Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal says Madame Gazelle. <laughs> but Tiddles needs helping too, <coughs> cries Peppa. <laughs> Can you doctors help a tortoise in trouble? asks Madame Gazelle. I'm afraid not, but we know someone who can, replies Dr. Pony. I'll call them now. 
Dr. Hamster the vet arrives. Toodles fell out of the tree, Pedro tells Dr. Hamster. Toodles, you little pickle, says Dr. Hamster. She flips him over so he can stand up again. All of a sudden, Dr. Elephant the dentist appears. Hello, I heard there was an emergency. Are everyone's teeth okay? He asks. Yes, thank you. Everyone answers. Dr. Elephant sets off on his way. My car won't start, cries Dr. Elephant. None of the doctors know what to do. I know who to call, says Madame Gazelle. Grandad Dog's Breakdown Service. Grandad Dog arrives. He opens up the car bonnet and has a look. Right, now try the engine, he says. <coughs> Dr. Elephant's car has been fixed. <coughs> Grandad Dog is a car doctor, <coughs> cheers Peppa. <laughs> there are doctors for everything, even cars. Everyone loves doctors. <coughs> the end. Peppa Pig and the Ambulance <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear is visiting Peppa's playgroup to show the children an ambulance. Hello, Dr. Brown Bear, say the children. Hello, children, says Dr. Brown Bear. <laughs> Does anybody know what this is called? Asked Dr. Brown Bear. It's a ambulance, says Molly Moll. And who can tell me what it's for? Asked Dr. Brown Bear. Taking sick people to the hospital, <coughs> says Peppa. Can we hear the Nana Nana sound, please? Asked Freddy Fox. <laughs> yes, says Dr. Brown Bear. But we normally only use that in a real emergency. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear, can you show us what you would do in a real emergency? Asked Madame Gazelle. Wow! Yes, says Dr. Brown Bear. I'll show you using this teddy. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear checks that the teddy is awake, asks the teddy his name, and asks him what happened. <coughs> then he bandages up his arm. Wow! And because you have been such a brave bear, you get a sticker, says Dr. Brown Bear, giving the teddy a yellow smiley face sticker. <coughs> Wonderful, says Madame Gazelle. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear, say the children. <coughs> You're welcome, says Dr. Brown Bear. And remember, always look where you're going. <coughs> oh dear, Dr. Brown Bear has tripped over a ball. Oh no! Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill, <coughs> cries Peppa. <coughs> He's rolled through a prickly bush, says Molly. And he's hit a tree. <laughs> Apples have fallen on his head, adds Zoe Zebra. <coughs> oh, groans Dr. Brown Bear. <gasps> oh my goodness, gasps Madame Gazelle. Call an ambulance. <coughs> the ambulance is over here, <coughs> says Peppa. <coughs> Quick, everyone into the ambulance, <coughs> says Madame Gazelle. Hooray! shout the children as they run into the ambulance. The ambulance gets to the bottom of the hill. Don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear, says Madame Gazelle. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't need any help, says Dr. Brown Bear. The children, Chucky is awake, ask him his name and ask him what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill, 
says Dr. Brown Bear. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? <laughs> says Susie Sheep. Which bit is hurting? asks Pedro Pony. My arm, my leg, and here on my head, <gasps> replies Dr. Brown Bear. Susie and Wendy Wolf bandage up Dr. Brown Bear. Because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker, says Madame Gazelle. Wow! <laughs> the children giggle. Have a sticker, have a sticker! They all cover him with smiley face stickers. Ah, oh, ow, oh, cries Dr. Brown Bear. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works, says Madame Gazelle. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear, cheer the children. It was my pleasure, groans Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everyone loves ambulances. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Freddy Fox. <laughs> this is Peppa's friend, Freddy Fox. Freddy likes playing pretend. Wow! I'm a policeman, says Freddy. And you're under arrest. <laughs> Snorts Peppa. What a funny game. <laughs> Freddy is very musical. He can play the triangle. I can play the guitar, says Peppa. Let's play together, says Madame Gazelle. Freddy is very good at smelling. He has a super nose. What do I smell of, Freddy? Hmm. Freddy sniffs. Flowers and muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and Freddy like going to new places. They even have fun at the supermarket. It's a fruit day, says Miss Rabbit. Who would like a smoothie? Me, please, shouts Freddy. And Peppa. Hmm. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Freddy. Inside Mr. Fox's van, there is a treat for Freddy. And one for his good friend Peppa. Peppa loves Freddy Fox. Everyone loves Freddy Fox. The end. Peppa Pig in the garden. This is Peppa. This is her brother, George. This is Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig. Peppa George and Grandpa Pig are in the garden. Oh. Grandpa Pig gives Peppa a lettuce. Wow! What is that? says Peppa. It is a snail, says Grandpa Pig. George likes the snail. <laughs> Where is the snail now, Grandpa? says Peppa. It is in its shell, says Grandpa Pig. The shell is the snail's house. George likes the snail's shell. Peppa likes it too. Can we be snails in our houses, says Peppa. Peppa and George's friends come to the garden. What is that? They say. They are bees, says Grandpa Pig. Wow! 
What are they doing? Says Peppa. They are making honey. Says Grandpa Pig. Hmm. I like honey. Says Peppa. <laughs> Let's be bees. Say the friends. Bzz, 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 they say. <laughs> Granny Pig is in the garden. She gives Peppa and her friends some honey on bread. Mm. I like bees, says Peppa. <laughs> we like bees too, say Peppa's friends. We like eating their honey. It's great. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more.